They're designed for amphibious assaults on hostile territories. But to date, these Royal Marines landing craft were travelling from the heart of London along the Thames to Greenwich, where HMS Bulwark is moored. She's hosting VIPs and invited locals during her trip. Those invited on board were there to see how this amphibious lander and helicopter carrier can be used for a flexible response to all sorts of situations, such as the ship hijacking. The Royal Navy has spent months in the headlines because of the cuts of the Strategic Defence and Security Review. Even the success of the rescue operation from Libya was somewhat overshadowed by the fact that HMS Cumberland was on her way home to be decommissioned. But HMS Bulwark has come to London with a message that despite what has happened, there is still a flexible and capable Royal Navy. There is no question that the Royal Navy that has emerged following the Defence Review is fit and capable for a wide range of tasks and actually things such as evacuating British nationals around the world are exactly the things you'd expect from a modern, agile and flexible Royal Navy. Five years ago, HMS Bulwark helped rescue hundreds of civilians from Lebanon amid fierce fighting there with Israel. Recently, she's undergone a refit and is now getting ready for a return to active service, taking over the current role of her sister, HMS Albion, later this year. We take over as the flagship for what is probably one of Defence's few contingent capabilities, able to deploy it at very high readiness, two days, uh, five days for the landing force uh, anywhere, anywhere in the world. The capabilities demonstrated to London today will be shown in the Mediterranean and the seas around the Gulf and North Africa on Operation Cougar later this year, an area that the world is watching closely, with an operation that was planned long before recent events. James Hurst, Forces News, Greenwich.